Everybody knows Greek spinach pie, spanakopita. I'm doing something similar today, except with a whole range of greens, spinach included. The first thing I'm going to do, of course, is use olive oil. In this particular case, I've chosen an oil from Kalamata that's a PDO region, protected designation of origin. This oil has a really beautiful peppery aftertaste, but also something fresh and green about it. It might seem strange that I'm using a wok to cook my very Greek greens pie, but actually the wok has two advantages. It lets me use a lot less oil, and it also fits a lot more than most frying pans. The first thing I'm going to do is saute my leeks, my scallions, and my onions. Now this is going to take a few minutes before it's wilted. We don't need to get this cooked down to almost nothing. We want there to be a little bit of crunch. This is going to bake off in the pie. I'm just going to empty them right into the mixing bowl. I'm going to add a little bit more oil to my wok and then continue with my greens. Swiss chard and some fresh spinach. As you can see, the greens are very coarsely chopped. This is going to lose so much volume, we're almost not going to recognize it. I'm adding my spinach. What we want to do here, basically, is get all the liquid out of the greens. That's why we're cooking them. This is exactly what we want. Wilted, but you can see there's still some great color in there. I'm going to empty this into my mixing bowl. I'm about to add all my herbs. They play a very important part in all greens pies. They give so much flavor that we actually use less salt. Here I have wild fennel, parsley, dill, a little bit of mint. The one thing we definitely don't want is to put a very hot filling between layers of phyllo. We'll never get a crisp greens pie that way. I'm going to let it cool. We always want to make sure that our phyllo is at room temperature. A little trick, we fold the phyllo like a book and we open it backwards page by page. and we brush it with olive oil. It doesn't need to be slathered in oil. You really just want to wet it a little bit. I want six sheets for the bottom of my pan. This is the last page of our book, right? I'm not folding this one over. I'm not going to oil this one until very last. What I'm doing is that. And going to the other side. The last sheet. This one gets oiled in full. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to my pan. You just do that. I've just placed the phyllo in the pan. It'll fall into place with the weight of the actual filling. I have to taste my filling for salt. If our filling is too wet, we can add a little bit of semolina flour, a handful of bulgur, anything that will absorb the moisture as the green pie bakes in the oven. I always add a little bit of olive oil to my filling. I'm going to add this right to my pie. I'm spreading it out so that it, it falls into place evenly. Now we have to get to the next step, which is just covering the pie. I use four sheets of phyllo to do this. What we want to do is press it down a little bit. We take the top and bottom layers of phyllo. We make a decorative rim. Just a little bit of olive oil around the rim. I have to score the pie into serving pieces. I never draw the knife completely through the pie. And we want to do one last thing. I wet my hands, and I sprinkle a little water over the top of the phyllo. 
that way, these pieces that are already cut, especially the ones on top, don't fluff up in the oven. They don't fly away. Three sixty Fahrenheit for about forty-five to fifty minutes. 